They are trying to destroy the morals in this country. They're a bunch of elitists, blue blood, and jackasses. They're not following biblical principles. Red staters are all about falling into a line and lockstep, and we all are of like minds. Rednecks, I agree. I think that these people are insane, and they don't know what's good for them and what's not. I think they're brainwashed. There's no question that we're in a period of intense political polarization where the country is divided along partisan lines in ways that have more anger and ferocity than most periods in the nation's history. Cass Sunstein, a University of Chicago law professor, studies how groups polarize. So he asked Sunstein and his team to come up with an experiment to demonstrate how people behave when surrounded by others who generally agree with them. Common sense might suggest that people will go to the middle, even if they are left-leaning or right-leaning after they talk with one another. But sometime in the late 1960s, some weird results showed that groups don't go to the middle, but instead like-minded people talking to one another end up more extreme. The participants came from two Colorado communities less than 100 miles apart. Boulder is in a liberal county that voted 66% for John Kerry. Colorado Springs is in a conservative county, which voted 66% for George Bush. 31 residents from each town were recruited for the experiment. We have no political agenda. We are not working for either political party. This is strictly a scholarly study. The participants began by ranking their opinions on a wide variety of political statements. Then they were split into groups. They didn't know that ABC News was involved until after the experiment was completed. Your job is to express your personal opinion on each discussion topic and to attempt to reach a group consensus through discussion. You will have 15 minutes per topic. The United States should... These participants from Liberal Boulder were asked to discuss an international treaty to reduce global warming. I do agree that it should be done. I, I'm just not necessarily sure that it's as easy as we think it might be. Well, what if it's a one in a trillion chance that there's global warming? What damage are you doing by preparing for that eventuality? In my opinion, it's a no-brainer that we, uh, you know, maybe we should move to the consensus standpoint eyes checked off agree very strongly before the discussion opinions range from agree slightly a six to agree very strongly a ten i don't necessarily think i want to go all the way to the top of the scale but i'm, I'm uh, you know one or at the very most two levels below it it sounds like you're proposing an eight or a nine agree or agree strongly I'm a 10. I'm a 10 too. I'm a 10 as well. I think that I would agree very strongly. So we have five tens and nine. Should we... So I, I can, I can uh, make it unanimous, yeah, sure. Okay, we're a 10. <laughs> Thank you. <Screw. laughs> as a result of the discussion, three of the participants changed their views to the extreme. Do they actually end up thinking differently or, or do they just not say what they really feel? Okay, both things happen. So we know from social science that sometimes people uh, squelch their private doubts and secretly they believe that the movement to which the group has gone is wrong, but they don't speak out against it because they want to be well liked. But sometimes it's just the case that if people are in a group that's moving in a particular direction, they will be themselves moved by the group's movement and they'll end up thinking that their own private doubts are wrong. And, and they all become true believers. And they become true believers. We've seen that in many domains. Including the courts. Sunstein has found that even federal judges can be polarized. He's conducted an exhaustive study of 20,000 decisions on the Federal Court of Appeals. You wouldn't expect this to happen with judges. Absolutely. Judges are specialists in the law. They are not extremely vulnerable to peer pressure. They have life tenure. So what surprised us was to find these movements among uh, judges to more extreme positions if they're sitting with like-minded others. And this suggests that if judges who are specialists, who have life tenure, are likely to move in response to uh, like-minded others, that we're going to see more dramatic movements among ordinary citizens. 
Two adults of the same sex should be able to form a civil union, which would entitle them to certain legal rights, such as joint... But what happens when the group is not all leaning in one direction? What happens when someone dissents? In this conservative group from Colorado Springs, members opposed allowing gays to form civil unions. Except Judy. Unknown to the rest of the group, her son is gay. So it doesn't say a marriage, you're talking about a civil mm. union. I agree that they should, that they should have the same rights. I think it's just oh. the first step toward um, my forced acceptance of homosexuality as a legitimate lifestyle choice, which I don't think it is. There are too many other places this goes, in my mind. <laughs> they change partners 10 to 1 over heterosexual couples. But and not all of them. Some no. of them have been together 20 yeah, but years. But I'm talking as a whole. And to me, it's like a discrimination thing. You know, my grandfather used to have a fit because women voted. And my father had a fit because the blacks were going to come into our high school. And I was in high school in the 50s, and he was sure I was going to be taken care of by every black boy. Well, that didn't happen. And I think this is the next issue that's coming up. But people that are black or born black, they didn't have a choice. But see, I don't think are... homosexuals have a choice either. See, to me, if, it's, if the behavior is not right, it doesn't matter if you're born that way or not. So the next thing is, I was born, I was born a thief. I was born a murderer. I mean, what about these people that are born demented and they like murdering? Does that make it okay for them? I think these guys... These people that are born a certain way can change just because society frowns upon them. I'm the not asking is, him to change. Yeah. I'm just asking him to come into conformity with what's a better lifestyle. For and the, so not to have society. a sexual life. Right. Yeah. That's what you're asking him to do. Yeah. If you go to accept this, then you go to accept a little more, a little more, a little more, and then we're there. Well, let and me then ask all of a sudden we're not discriminating against him anymore. Let me I, Judy stood her ground. The group did not reach consensus. But this was the exception. I agree. Strongly, I strongly agree. agree. I strongly agree. One on one. That's fine with me. I'm, I'm the very strongly. Me too. Very strongly. Very strongly too. In the 30 group discussions we observed over two days, 26 of them reached a polarized consensus, pulling either to the left or the right. Strongly. Yeah. Very strong. strongly. Strongly. Yeah. Ten. Thank you. Ten. Ten. And it does have big implications for ordinary politics because it suggests if conservatives are mostly talking to one another or mostly listening to one another, they'll shift off to the right. And the same will happen with liberals. The findings have been confirmed by numerous similar studies. What all this means is that in a like-minded community like Colorado Springs or Montclair, New Jersey, opinions will drift to the extreme over time. Tolerance for dissent and diversity of opinion inevitably decreases. The phenomenon, says Sunstein, also attracts activists who have an innate understanding of how group polarization works. You have people who are kind of, uh, let's call them polarization entrepreneurs, that is people whose job it is to create polarization. And they, no less than Osama bin Laden, though they're a lot better, needless to say, show a kind of intuitive sense that if you get like-minded people together, you can stir them up and press them in extreme directions. Mm -hmm.